She's a member of Save East Hampton, the group that uh, is affected by this, and you live right there in McGurk Street, right? Yes, I do. Yes, uh, describe I do. your situation. Um, we woke up one day and they were putting in 60 foot high poles outside our house. We knew nothing about it. We were in total shock. Um, when we went out to speak to the workers, they did not respond or give us any information. And we immediately got together and asked to meet with PSEG. And within a week, we had them in our town at a, uh, at a village meeting. And they met with us and proceeded to tell us uh, what was going on. What, what about people who would say, the, this is the not in my backyard mentality? Oh, not at all. Um, our feeling is we actually are representing the entire town. We're concerned about the health risks for everyone. Um, we're concerned about the risks to our water supply. Um, and really, it's about the entire town. We feel it's, um, you know, there are health risks for everyone. There are safety risks. It's, it's going on a six-mile run when it should really be a four-mile run. It's an expense to everyone. And really, it's happening all over the island right now. That's true. There are complaints in Port Washington about very tall poles there. And the, and the PSE&G admits that they're putting in these bigger poles. They see they are needed to uh, better resist future storms. Right. Well, the big thing for us is, in his state of the state, uh, Governor Cuomo said that um, there's a new communication highway and that we are looking to put... Um, underground, bury the lines along public corridors um, so that they do not affect neighborhoods. And we totally support that. The problem is that's not what's happening on Long Island. Well, and then PSE and G tells me that they're being pressured by the state to make sure that they can meet the load this season, and they say that that's a critical uh, substation area where the you know they need these high-voltage lines to uh, provide power, and that for now they got to finish the project. You had a meeting with them. At first right. you thought there were some breakthroughs, but now it seems a little different. Where does it stand after meeting with them? Uh, the meeting is, uh, we will get the letter today. I believe that they are going to agree to go underground, but it will probably take close to two years to accomplish that. And they're insisting on continuing the project as is, whereas we say they should halt the project now, use that money to bring in, gener stop, halt the project, use the money that they're saving to uh, pull down the poles that are up there and bring in the generators that they removed before the poles were even up. They removed three generators last year from Montauk, which uh, serviced 4,000 of the 8,000 households. Well, you know, they also say that these are options, that this seems to be the biggest obstacle. If they're going to bury the lines and get rid of all the poles, they yeah. say it's got to be paid for and that you folks have to find the money. What do you think of that? Well, we're willing to share in the cost. We are absolutely willing to share in the cost. Southampton did this in 2008, and they shared in the cost. We have several questions. Why are the costs that are being given to us so much higher than what Southampton... 15 to 30 million, says PSE&G to me. It's 50 to 30 million to, to do what you want. So why was Southampton, you know, 20... 25% of that cost. Why is What is the difference? We want to understand the cost. They why also say so they may just uh, cut down a portion of the top no, of the poles, leaving it still the it's same. It's still the same safety risks. It's still the same health risks. You know, eight years ago, uh, the tobacco company said there were no risks to our health. We don't want to take that ch chance with electromagnetic fields. There are too many questions about the effects. These wires are 20 feet from our bedrooms. So you're appealing to the governor now because you feel like the idea is what? Finish it and then we'll talk about it later? No, right. We don't want that. We don't believe in that. And it's happening all over Long Island. What we want is a moratorium on all these projects all over Long Island. Let's have a discussion about is this really right for the island? Why are we putting out this money and spending double the money? Well, we'll have to leave it there, but thank you very much. That is thank the debate you. going on across Long Island about these bigger power poles that have been going in in communities. Rebecca Singer from Save East Hampton, thank, thank you for joining us today. And up next, a local high school teacher.